ape together strong? Now, you may be curious why I put a question mark at the end of that, and so just stay tuned and watch the video to find out why. So War for the Planet of the Apes is the third installment in the remake of the Apes franchise from way back when, and Andy Serkis reprises his role as Caesar, and this picks up basically where the second one left off, where a war was about to happen between ape and man. And the apes want to try and keep peace, yet they're not able to because of what happened in the second movie, and the humans want to try and attack the apes because they are in fear of getting dominated by them and being no longer on this planet. So after some events occur, the humans attack the apes and that gives them some fatalities that make Caesar quite angry at the humans. And so the apes try to attack the humans while the humans try to attack the apes and behold, you have war of the planet of the apes. Except what you get out of the movie isn't exactly what you're expecting or wanting necessarily, at least in my opinion. For example, there's times in the movie where it tries to be dramatic or intense, and sometimes it pulls it off. But then there's other times where it just feels like a normal scene when you feel like you're supposed to feel the tension or sad or anything really, but it, the movie doesn't quite pull that off. And sometimes the CGI, most of the time it does look really good and it makes the apes look believable even though they're completely fake. Yet. There's sometimes where they just use a little bit too much CGI in one scene or something, and it kind of looks off. But, I mean, that, I can't really fault the movie for that because it is pretty much half the cast is CGI. So, I don't mind that as much because, I mean, you kind of got to expect it, really. Now, one of the biggest problems I had with this movie is that I was kind of going into this movie after the trailer to expect something like Civil War, where... You have Captain America saying one thing and Tony Stark saying another and they battling against each other. And they both reveal compelling arguments. And so that's kind of what I was expecting out of the humans and the apes. Because I know when I watched the trailer, I was like, I don't know who I personally would root for in watching this movie. Because naturally I want the humans to win because it's my own human race. I want the human race to live on. However... Then there's the ape side because we've watched the past two movies and have grown along with Caesar and seen what he's gone through and what the apes have gone through and want them to win. So in my opinion, I feel like they could have taken this movie a different direction and put the two sides against each other in ways that make the audience battle in their minds instead of showing so much of the apes as the good guys and the humans at the, as the bad guys. Because I feel like it would just been more interesting to have their reasoning and their reasoning and to actually have it all make sense and make you bounce between the two. Now they did kind of do this in the movie but nowhere near as much as I was wanting it to. They did it for a little bit on the human side but then after that it didn't really go a whole lot other places. Now one of the things that I do wish there was more of in the movie was Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson I thought did a pretty good job. And I honestly could see him in the role quite well once the trailer came out and I was looking forward to his performance. And I just wish there was more of his character throughout the movie. Now naturally I was expecting this movie to feel like it was a little too long because it is 2 hours and 20 minutes. And I walked out of the theater feeling that way because I was kind of just looking forward to the end of this movie so that I could go and pee. And so yes, I do feel like they drag out some scenes longer than they really should have and that kind of draws you out of the movie a little bit in my opinion it just didn't really work for me as well as i was really expecting now one of the problems that i have with the apes franchise is that i don't connect as well with apes rather than humans i don't know if that's just a psychological thing or if other people have this problem i just like the times that there's the intense or dramatic scenes that i'm supposed to feel for the apes i just don't really and I would feel like I would feel more for the humans if that would happen to them or something. And I don't know if other people feel this way or not. So let me know in the comments if you happen to feel this way and if I'm alone in this or if I'm just weird or what. 
Now, why I put a question mark at the end of strong, at least a good portion of why, is because I felt like the apes really didn't do a whole lot physically. It was a lot more mentally. And for a war, you would think that there'd be a lot more physical parts to it, but there really wasn't as much as you would think. And at the end of it, which, no spoilers, but the war isn't really what you're expecting or wanting it to be. And that just made me feel disappointed in the end. Now, I know it sounds like I'm really kicking this movie under the rug and not liking it at all, but it does have some good parts to it. But there's a lot of slow parts that I really just didn't even really care for. Now, I know a lot of people love this franchise, but this franchise to me is it's just okay. It, there's nothing special to it to me. So I'm going to give War for the Planet of the Apes a 5 out of 9. Now, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, I liked it. And Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I thought was okay. And War of the Planet of the Apes definitely falls more on the line of Dawn. And so if you like Dawn, you'll probably like War. Just, I didn't really care for Dawn, so I didn't really care for War. Currently, 95% of critics like this movie on Rotten Tomatoes, with an average rating of 8.2. So, I mean, obviously that's really freaking good, but I mean, I'm just not one of those people that really love the Apes franchise, and I know a lot of people do, and I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy this movie. So, if you like Dawn, go see it. If you thought it was okay, eh, maybe wait till it goes into Redbox or something. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more of my content. And thank you all very much for watching. God bless you all.